a little bit sluggish and um, you know all year long it's been the best base building uh, part of my season that I've ever had. I knew I was really strong and I think today was more an event that showed where I'm at fitness wise. And, uh, we got two weeks left to get sharp and make sure that we're ready for the important part of the season. Obviously you got to finish top three at, uh, in your event. And, um, I think there's still a lot more that we get to improve on as the summer goes on. The like comment at Stanford was, I'm tired of all this base training, and then it was moved towards the speed training. Yeah. Do you feel like you've got enough of you, enough of that in you now? Yeah, I think, um, I mean, I'm not really a pure, when I always talk to Jerry, I'm always talking about I want speed, I want speed. It's not necessarily that it's a pure speed um, that I'm looking for, it's just more of that race pace, uh, 5K, just a little bit underneath that. And, uh, that's not something that we really touch on until we get to this part of the season. And once you start touching on it, if you're really strong and you've had a good fall, it comes really, really fast. And I think we're starting to see the fruits of that today. Were you surprised to find yourself where you were in the pack? And did you be pleased with your tactics? Um, I still don't think I was quite patient enough. Um, I was honestly actually very surprised. It's a beautiful day out. The wind really is not that significant, and I was really surprised it went out that slow. And it took me probably 600 meters to really just kind of settle in and relax and be like, okay, this is this is what we're in for today. And uh, once we got um, with a K to go, I really thought since we were to so tightly packed that it was just gonna be 58s and then a kick from that point on. And it just kept waiting and waiting when we were coming up with 500 to go. I just wanted to be in position because I know those guys got a quicker first step than I do and I just wanted to be in a position to where even if some guys had to come around I could still latch on and be there. Did you uh, get caught up with Bernard a little bit when he went around you? Uh, you know, I don't know if it was him specifically oh, over that ago, last... Somewhere. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it was necessarily him. It was the guy that was coming on the inside who gave me a little bit of a shove. And, I mean, that's all part of racing. It's uh, everybody's fighting for the position. When you're that closely packed, that stuff's bound to happen. And I think overall, it was a really clean race. Well, I was going to say, you were in great position from 400 all the way yeah. around the backside of the track. Yeah, and I really wasn't. And even when Bernard went around me, I was kind of expecting that. And again, those guys are so fast over the first two steps when they really want to do their kick. I just wanted to be in a position that if I saw from the peripheral vision, if he was coming off on me, I'd have time to respond and be on the back of it. And, um, we still got some work to do. That guy is so naturally gifted. It doesn't. I don't think he ever has to touch speed work. I think it's just there. And over the next, you know, few weeks, we got a lot of brushing up to do. And like I said, I really think we've got a long way still to go. And our our group showed, you know, to this weekend. Um, you know, there was one not happy person, but everybody else ran close to where they left off last season. And um, it's a great point to be at this part of the season, and we're really looking forward to heading into USA's. Anything before that? Uh, no, we're gonna head back, and um, you know, I think uh, Bumble. He's had a great season. He's. Uh, I know he learned a lot today, um, and just trying to get ready and gear up. We'll have the same exact crowd here for USA's that we have today, and it was a great uh, setting for our final tune-up leading in. Yeah, what does 829 sound like to you for a high school record, high school kid? <laughs> he had, I mean, that's an amazing time. He had the perfect race today. I mean, for whatever reason, the race just never got going from the start. He was able to maybe not be on the end of that pack, but completely be close enough to stay in touch. And I mean, he is, he's a stud. He has been running crazy times his entire career. And, um, I don't expect that to change anytime soon. Right. And they've got to be excited about the future of America. It is, right? yeah. I mean, there's a lot of young guys out there and, uh, you know, the guys that are, I'm the old one now out of the group. I don't know when that happened, but I hope I am able to keep setting an example, um, getting those guys to, you know, get out here and mix it up every every race. Chris showed that last year over and over again, and now it's just, you know, we got to keep drilling that into these kids' head that it's possible. And you Seems like your sounds like your kind of performances have lagged your training a bit this year. Just... Uh, yeah, I mean I'm actually really the 1316 in my Melbourne I think was actually a little bit over my head for the time. Right. Um, my 1500s I think have definitely lagged where I was, and um, part of those I just don't really mount sack. It was coming out of a really hard week of training. Oxy was recovering from the 10, and I'm actually really pleased with the 10 the way the race is run. Um, I think I just didn't, I'm 
new to the event over the last six laps, I thought I was going to be able to just kind of make a charge, and there was just nothing in the legs. It was kind of the first time I've really experienced that. And um, now I think moving forward, um, we're, we're, there's a lot of positive stuff leading into U.S. championships in the rest of the summer. Right. And like even like last night, a guy like Murga. Yeah, it seemed perfect for him, and then he yeah. go with the No, end of it. it was. I've never ever experienced anything like that in the five, uh, in the ten. Like in the five, you're from two k out. You feel lactic, but it's just one of those things where your body's just able to keep going. And I think in the the ten, you're able to fall asleep for so long that you can almost become lethargic. And by the time you're ready to snap out of it, it's just like, man, there's nothing there. But I feel so good aerobically. So. Um, I think it even goes to show Chris's performance last year all that much more impressive. And, um, no, and I'm really excited, and hopefully next year uh, get a touch on the 10 again, and I'll have learned a lot. All right, good luck. Yeah.